I see surface temperatures in the eastern Pacific Basin start to cool down. That's going to be the driving force that topples us into a La Nina summer. Now, for May into June, we're still going to be looking at neutral conditions. However, as we get from June and July into August, that's when we have chances of up to 50% of being in a La Nina summer. Now, taking a look back at one of the other La Nina summers where we came out of an El Nino 2016, we saw that in the West, it started out as a mainly warmer condition. And as we head into Ju July and uh, into August, that's when the heat started to build right across areas of the east, especially across the Great Lakes. And another portion of the La Nina that we watch very closely is going to be a hyperactive Atlantic season, mainly with hurricane season. 2010, 2016, and 2020 were three years that we saw an El uh, El Nina pattern and with it we saw a more hyperactive hurricane season and with this summer and the already warm sea surface temperatures across the Atlantic Basin we are going to be projecting to see quite an active hurricane season going into 2024 summer.